looking forward 2022 breakout star of the year <clears throat> this is where i agree with you guys but i have this is my kind of sleeper pick what did everyone think of my sleeper pick right here Ooh, that's interesting i, I like it go go for so, it let's talk about it talk cody about it. rhodes the cody rhodes saga which i talked about a little bit earlier what it is and has been some of the most kind of head scratching um storylines and what we're doing story direction that i have I, in a long time where i'm like what is going to happen i'm very invested in this i'm like is he gonna retire is he's taking his boot off is he heel is he babyface why is the crowd booing him because i love him you know we like him we support him you know like all this about him and like it's so interesting and then all of a sudden he wins not all of a sudden but he, he jumps the line as dan lambert says gets a TNT title match, wins the TNT title back for the third time, the first three, three peat champion. And now he's going into the new year, you know, defending it against all ego, Ethan page tomorrow night on rampage. And he's got gold around his waist. And so and he's a heel now, right? And, and we don't know if he's a heel. Is he a baby face? <laughs> is he a worker? What is he doing? Like, and so <clears throat> breakout star of 2022, because I think whatever end game is in store with him is going to be one that, we're all going to be wowed and kind of be like impressed with whether it be a full heel turn, whether it be just continuing to play, you know, walk the fine line, but also at the same time, what I've loved about the TNT title runs of Cody in the past is yeah. the the open challenges. Yeah. He has been one of the best TNT. I know we, we talk about Brody Lee. We talk about Darby Allen, <clears throat> um, but all TNT title holders have been excellent. But that being said, Cody Rhodes to me sticks out the most because of, what he's done in terms of Eddie Kingston, Ricky Starks, all these people, like the open challenge stuff. I hope he leans into this walking the line of being a heel and like, yeah, uh, as you said, Bonds, like doing open challenges, bringing in new people, but also having this like over the top celebrations, Captain America, you know, like Uncle Sam, you know, confetti falling from the, like, you know, it's like crying the, with a parade every time. The World yeah, Series. Being or, or, like, out of the, the ring. Yeah. Winning the Super Bowl every time he wins an open challenge, like yeah. something like, like all that would be so great. Like that'd be, to me, would be such an interesting story for 2022. Yes, Wardlow, 100% throw him under the SPD logo right there. I would absolutely love that. Um, there's so many different people. And as we're seeing here, Hook, like send Hook. We I'm are shocked that so many faces names. Up there. I'm shocked we are getting faces up a there. taste. We have just gotten a our palette wet of what he can do. Two matches. Two matches on live or on television in the ring in front of a crowd that he absolutely delivered. The crowd is so over for him. And if you didn't see that video I sent you guys, Hook slapped Cody Rhodes in the face. They called out Cody Rhodes after off the air and came out face to face and slapped him. Do we see the do we see such a, a new green wrestler and hook dethrone um you know Mr. EVP himself, Cody Rhodes? You know, I don't think that's too far fetched. AEW isn't really known to doing that, you know. Jade has earned her mark. Jade is yeah. earning her her ranking. Jade is earning the championship title match next week for the TBS tournament. Is she going to win? Yes. I think we think we all think that we think she's going to be to the moon since day one, since minute one, when she stepped on the screen, True. Jade has looked and acted like an absolute phenomenal superstar. She's a superhero. She's a real life superhero. My wife marks out to her. She's like, Oh my gosh, she's got an amazing body. Jade is incredible. I'm like, yes, yeah. she, she's been fantastic to us on social media. She's always acknowledged things we posted about her. Uh, so she's the real deal. And I think, Having that experience with veterans such as Thunder Rosa in the ring and other ones, when she gets that gold around her waist, it's going to be a lot of fun. And to continue that uh, undefeated streak, you know, one of the few undefeated streaks in AEW, um, and then hopefully maybe we get that rematch and uh, someone dethrones her to give her the first loss. But it's a very compelling story. But Wardlow. You guys, yeah, you went from Cody Rhodes to Jade, which, hey, man, I mean, you couldn't go from you couldn't go from one end of the spectrum to the other uh, <laughs> any more than you just did. What do you Cody, think about uh, Cody, though? I, well, Cody, that's what I mean. Is Cody being such a veteran and Jade being so new? It, it, it be, Cody right. is a breakout star. It was shocking for me to see him be up there on the screen for you because he's so well established. I mean, the guy is yeah. the backbone of AEW. Um, but I understand where you're coming from. In what it's you a said. very different thing. It's, it's yeah. a very it's a different, different breakout. He you. is a star already, but a breakout character. 
Right. I, guess I get where I you're coming that. from. And I guess for me, I saw the best of both worlds coming with Wardlow. And Bonds and I talked about that. Um, is that, you know, I was a year too early on the Wardlow breakout. Um, I felt like, I mean, I see this guy and I'm like, how does, I mean, how does not, how does every, how is he not universally just looked at as like an absolute superstar stud future world champion type of guy. Um, and the, although it was very, it was slow played throughout the year, AEW gave us a lot of hints that they believe that he can be that. Um, they, yes. they really, to JR. yeah. I mean, you listen to JR call a Wardlow match and you know, okay, this He's is salivating legit. nonstop. Yeah. I mean, this I don't is know, a glorified man. manager for Wardlow. <laughs> I, I'm I'm an absolute mark for this guy. I, I love Wardlow. Yeah. I love I love everything that this guy can do. Um, and, and I'm not getting off the train uh, just because I was early a year early. I think I mean we're seeing it now. Bonds, you it's and I happening. had an epic yeah. conversation. If you missed it, go back and check out la- this clip from when Wednesday. Really, one of the better conversations that we've had about Wardlow over 2021. I felt like, and we Definitely. laid out all that's going on with the big man and why he is so special. Uh, this feud with MJF that that's simmering right now really has our interest peaked, And we've been waiting for Wardlow to rip that dude's face off. Um, oh, and it's only going to, it's going to happen months. before we know it. I, I, I think that Wardlow, when he breaks out and is treated like a baby face, it, he's going to be over like crazy. His offense, everything, his look, everything about him, Dude is an absolute beast. Yeah. Yeah, man. I, we're in the middle of it now. I really think that. He's on a 16-match win streak. We talked about this yesterday, man. Like, it, it needs to happen against MJF, and that's what's being set up. He's going to break out this year. It's, it's going to happen. It's it's not going to be a year early again. It, they're setting it up, man. Like, we're in the midst of it. He's got everything you could want. His in-ring stuff is insane. Yeah, when like you said, man, once he rips MJF's face off and throws it back at him, like the crowd is going to be so behind Wardlow. Yeah, they're gonna have to they're gonna have to push him like to the moon. Yeah, there's they won't be, have a choice. You know what I mean? Like you put anybody against MJF and they're gonna get cheered, but when you put somebody that's on his side yeah. and is getting cheered already, yeah, and then you have him turn, that's gonna be gold. It's going to be absolute gold, and I can't wait for it. And I just know it's coming, so I'm excited about it because it's already here. Um, and Us like Cleveland said, boys had to get had to again acknowledge the yeah. War Dogs' uh, potential. Man, the guy is an absolute stud. Has yep. so much upside. It's crazy to you think throw about all the when big he, guy when names he gets around, featured. Man, like, I mean, we saw. I mean, one of the more memorable moments in all of AEW history is his match against Cody Rhodes in the cage. Yeah. Um, and we know that the, the potential that the war dog has, if you lean into this dude and you start making him a more, a featured character on, on dynamites, yeah. you're going to see a right major now. breakout. Well, exactly. And, like, and that's his, what floor, talking about. his floor is insane. You know, like, I feel like his floor is Ryback and that's you're, insane. You're right. That That's what his floor feels like, man. Yeah. And I just, when you got a guy like that, you, that's a breakout star. Yeah. <laughs> Legit, man. SVD, give me a feed more. Feed me more. <laughs> give me another Ray Phoenix, please. Oh, I'm, I'm what? No. Oh. <laughs> and and Brian Brian brings up a great great question about Wardlow as our as our top breakout. That's why we talked on the floor. The yeah, <laughs> his floor is if he can't cut a promo. Okay, well the guy is an absolute superstar in the ring. He has a mystique and aura about him, a look. And then you hand He's him so different in AEW, and we it, like. There's so much talent on this roster, but there are so few big men that command a, a presence and a, attention quite like Wardlow. He's just a, yeah. he got a special look and vibe to him that makes him stand out in a whole different way. Um, right. So I, I understand maybe your concerns with him and cutting promos. There's a lot of big name guys on this roster that aren't the best promo guys in the business. I mean, let's just be transparent. There, there's a lot of – like Jungle Boy is a guy that they believe in. Sammy Guevara we just saw as our former TNT champion. Just because you're not a, – a promo isn't your strong suit doesn't mean that it's going right. to prohibit you from breaking through. Yeah. And I think Wardlow had, checks – you know, he, he has so many things going for him that – 
And who knows? Well, and, and Working with too, MJF like he has, who knows? He might be able to cut a killer promo. The, the guy's incredibly is, intelligent. Like, when he has talked, it's not like he's sounded like he has no idea what he's doing. Good point. When he has talked, he's done a fine job. It, yeah. You know, he hasn't gone out and had a 20-minute promo with CM Punk, but he's not going to do that. That's not going to be his thing. It's never going to be his um, character. Yeah, it's not going to be his character. And, not many and so can do far, that anyways. Exactly. And and so far, I think that he's done nothing to tell me that he can't do that. You're right. So I think that once we get to see it, it'll be awesome and interesting. And uh, Wardlow's going to be a big name in 2022. Even if he, his breakout isn't as big as we expect, he'll still be breaking out, in my opinion. So AW seems I, invested in them, putting him on, uh, you know, what is it, four dynamites in a row? Even though, it, even though it is squash matches, that's I'm all for that because – you know, I've timed it. They're each like a little over a minute long, and in the crowd, is twenty-five. Just up. They're just them. salivating over what he's been doing, and and I am too. And so I'm all for it. I was trying to look.